Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to solder the female header connector onto the Adafruit Perma Proto Pi hat. This board is useful for prototyping your own circuit board for interfacing with a Raspberry Pi. The first thing I'm going to do is fit the pins on the header through the board and then clamp the header to the board itself. I'll be using my quad hands here to hold everything in place so I can work on it. I found that my tweezers here were not holding the header flush against the board, and so I decided to use two of my hands to support the header from underneath. I hope that by the end of this video, I can convince you to use flux when soldering. I like to use a water-soluble paste flux because it doesn't have a strong odor. This particular job is about as easy as solder jobs get because everything is very accessible, and you'll be doing the same thing over and over again. So you see that I've applied some flux and I bring in my soldering iron and I try to heat up the pin and the copper ring around the pin. And I bring in the solder and touch it to the pin and the copper ring, not directly to the soldering iron. And the reason you don't want to touch your solder to your soldering iron is because you can end up with what's called a cold solder joint. And that means basically that you've melted some solder into the area, but there can be a thin layer of air insulating the pin and the copper ring from the solder itself, meaning that you don't have a good or reliable connection. So basically melting some solder into the area is not enough. You want to flow that solder on and, ha and get a good contact with the board itself. So you see I applied more flux so that when I bring in the soldering iron I am able to transfer the heat from the iron into the board and the pin. So flux is just like using oil in a frying pan. It helps to conduct the heat from the pan into the food that you're cooking. And you wouldn't want to throw something into a frying pan without the oil because it heats up in very small areas and those areas get too hot and the rest of the food doesn't heat up. And flux is the same way. So we use it to transfer the heat from the soldering iron into what we're working on as opposed to getting a very narrow surface area where the soldering iron actually contacts the piece that you're working on. And the air insulates the soldering iron and doesn't allow the, the working piece to heat up. So you can see after applying more flux, I'm going to solder one pin on each corner into place. And you can see that I'm bringing the soldering iron in now, touching the pin and the ring around the pad, and bringing the solder in from the other side. And the workpiece is heating up enough to melt the solder, and that's exactly what we want. Now, since this is a 40-pin header, what I want to do is tack it down by soldering in the four corners. And then I'll make sure that the header is mounted nice and flush, and it's looking correct. The reason you don't want to solder too many pins at first is because if you make a mistake, then you're stuck removing the solder from a large number of pins in order to get the header off. So now that I've removed everything holding the workpiece in place, I have ready access to all the pins and I can get to work soldering them just like we did before, bringing the soldering iron in from one side, bringing the solder itself in from the other side. And this is how we make sure that we don't get cold solder joints. And here's another angle. Okay, and I'll do a final inspection here to make sure that I got enough solder on each joint. Then I'll clean all the rest of the residual flux off. Most of the flux evaporates during soldering, but the rest of it you can get off with some isopropyl alcohol. Then I'll remove the proto hat from the jig, do a final inspection to make sure I got it right. All the solder joints look like they have about the right amount of solder. And that's it. Thanks for watching.